Welcome back to Poughkeepsie Live. I'm here with Erin Shewell, and the CD is called Window Pane. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. The band sounds great. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I understand you're just getting in from Nashville. What were you doing yes. down there? We spent a uh, couple weeks recording. <laughs> new CD coming up, maybe? Um, yeah, we have a, a lot of new songs that uh, we're trying to compile into a new album, but we don't know yet. What's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the difference between the window pane CD and what you're recording now in Nashville? Uh, window pane is more a collection of the songs I've written in the last ten years. So, yeah. so um, you know, little events throughout my life then. And uh, the new stuff is more recent, and you can tell how much I've grown in my songwriting and uh, found more of my sound in the newer things, the newer songs, I think. Okay. <laughs> and when you were developing your sound, what did you hone in on? Where did you channel? Did you have any influence in your life? Anybody in your family that maybe was a musician? Or? Well, a lot of my family members were musicians, and a lot of them, most all of them, were good influences for me. Okay. But uh, I think. Uh, what helped me find my sound was finding the perfect partner. So my uh, guitar player, Pat Rue, he co-writes most of the songs with me, and we, uh, I think we're a good team. Okay. And how do you guys come up with ideas for songs? What, what are they based on? Just kind of get a melody in your head, or is it...? Yeah, it depends on, like, either I'll write lyrics or he'll write the music first, or, and then we'll combine it, or I'll come with him, come to him with an idea, and we'll... Uh, he'll make something beautiful out of it. Or, I mean, it, it really depends on each song. It's different. Sure, sure. Now, do you like playing in the studio as opposed to doing it live, or is it one I, or the other? I love both. Okay. <laughs> I love the studio and live. They're so totally different, but both of them. Now, what do you notice? What kind of reaction do people give you when you're playing your music? Do they sing along with the words? Do they, they know your stuff? <laughs> It's usually my mom sings along. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good to see people sing along. Right, right. And people can pick up your CDs on iTunes and CD Baby, so anywhere they're looking for you, they can find you, right? Yep, we're all over the place. Okay. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about uh, your background in audio. So you went to school? Or? Yep, I did a two-year audio program. So. And how did that help you in Nashville? Well, in Nashville, it was actually the engineer who owns the studio is also going to be the drummer on the album, so I get to engineer a little bit of my own album, which is pretty cool. I get to be an assistant engineer. So, <laughs> is this a dream of yours to be involved in music? When did you decide that it was what you wanted to do? Um, I think when I was born. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I've always done music. It's not. It's more a life path than a dream, because you know whether I make it or not. I don't know what you would consider making it, right. but I will always be in the music business, no matter what it is. Okay. So no matter <laughs> what, you're in it for life. Yep. Okay. What would you like to see happen? Oh, I'd like to have, you know, a hit song <laughs> and some money. <laughs> <laughs> and all the fame that goes with it, maybe? Um, fame would be cool, but, yeah. you know, mo ma mainly I want to be able to support my child and, uh, right. you know, could, could live. Could you handle all the fame if it happened? Sure. <laughs> no problem, right? well, we have some information about where you're going to be famous next. So, uh, <laughs> down on February 12th, that's Thursday night, 9 p.m., you're going to be at the Downtown in Red Bank, New Jersey. And on February 13th, which is a Friday at 8 p.m., you're going to be at O'Donohue's in Hoboken, New Jersey. And uh, like I said, you can find uh, Erin Shewell's music on iTunes and Crybaby and check her out on her website, which is ErinShewell.com, right? Mm -hmm. And you also perform with larger ensembles, I notice. What's different about today and the ensembles that you perform with? Well, today we're pretty much our uh, roots band. <laughs> you know, this is almost as small as we'll go, but we do have a... Uh, on some certain gigs, larger gigs, we have a horn section, backup singers, keyboard player, percussion, things like that. Exciting. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we're looking forward to hearing more music from you. And folks, when we return, we're going to have more music from Aaron Shewell. Don't go away. <laughs> 